Got some heat shield going on. So hopefully this will keep uh, the temps down. It looks much cleaner <laughs> without any of that in the way now. What's up guys, it's Jay. And today we just got a couple things in the mail. So I'm gonna show you what we got here. Today we are going to be installing, if I can open the box correctly, a turbo blanket here for the Teggy over there. And we also have uh, some, some additional header wrap here, uh, which I'm not sure we're going to uh, install yet. And then a windshield wiper removal kit. So we are going to install that on this boy. So we're gonna get this turbo wrapped up there. And then on the back side here, we are going to remove this guy right here. That's right. So a little stock, stock windshield wiper hasn't been used or changed in years. So let's get to it. Let's just pull this thing out here, see how this guy looks. Hopefully it'll fit. So I do have a T3 on there. It is not a T4. Some stainless steel springs here. It looks pretty nice. It's got the steel here. Feels pretty thick. Again, it's supposedly made with this volcanic rock stuff. Assuming you put this on and we're just going to, from one end to the other end. So let's put this puppy on. So I got the blanket on there and here's how it looks connected. Uh, might be a little tough to see, but I have it stretched out. <clears throat> Again, I'm using the spring here. Uh, so it's literally coming up to right where the uh, manifold is there. So you can see there's a little bit of a gap there, uh, but it covers the majority of the whole thing. And uh, I hope it keeps some temps down. So now we're gonna go uh, do the plug. So this guy right here, this guy's gonna plug it up. So let's, uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Looks like this is, uh, we got the stud with a nut. We got two O-rings. This is probably a top piece because it's thinner there. That goes on the top of the windshield and this probably goes on the other side, the back side, uh, and screws into the back side. So it really looks like you put two O-rings, one on the bottom, one on the top, sandwich them together uh, with the stud and that nut. And Literally, that's probably it. So let's uh, let's go get this uh, hatch open and uh, this rear wiper off of here. So there we go. Struts aren't, uh, again, I hardly ever open this thing. So now we're gonna have to take off uh, all of these uh, panels here so we can get, there's a wiper motor right there so we can get that out, so. Okay, so I literally just uh, pulled these back. So literally, you can almost just pull them like this. Uh, if you have to, you can get a little, uh, again, one of these pry bars, get underneath there a little bit, and then get this, and then just pull it back. So these guys literally come off just like that. So we got those off. Again, look, no clips really stuck in there. And then to do this, I already got this one started over here, but literally just go like this. Literally, it's that easy. All these ones literally just stayed in there. And here's the reason why you don't want to take off that back piece is because literally it is bolted in there. So <laughs> you will break it if you try to take that off. So here we have the wiper motor exposed. And uh, next thing we got to do is we do got to take uh, this off. So I'm gonna not 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 gonna close close this, but I'm gonna keep it right here, and we're gonna take that off. So there it goes. So here's the cap. Literally just popped off. We got this little screw here, so we're gonna take that off now. All right, we got our 12 millimeter here. Literally, like that. I 
open up like this so it's easier to come off. Now we got that off. This guy literally pops up here. And we got bigger nut there. All right, now this is a 24. So I got my 24 here. This is literally my impact one. So what I'm gonna do is put this on here and do this. There we go. There we go. Got that off. Uh, these are 10 millimeters here now on the back side of this. So before we get to that, we do want to disconnect this. First, want to actually remove this. So the best way to do that is there's this little clip in here. I'm using a little flathead. And literally, I pry this. All right, so we're just going to continue removing the bolts here. wiggle it back and forth a bit and then a comp should come out like that so it as you can see it's got a little bit of uh, corrosion build up there the camera will focus here and uh, that was preventing it from coming out all the way now it's just this thing this sleeve which we should be able to again just pop on out here so the best way to get this guy out here is come to the top here so it's thinner up top here Okay, and basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this screwdriver here. I'm really just going to push push this down and in. Again, I'm trying to be careful here, knowing that it's a glass, tempered glass, and boom, there it goes on the inside there. So now all we got to do is clean this up here a bit and uh, install the new ones. Okay, we just got some Meguiar's uh, glass cleaner and my lint-free rag right here. So I'm just going to spray just enough there. Just going to wipe it, make sure I get pretty clean around here. Obviously there's some crust up build there from the years. And you can see here there's still some actual stuff that's on there. So I'm going to get some bargain tar removed now. Okay, so since this is glass, I'm just using a little flathead. Look at that. Beautiful. Yep. Perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to do is going to put these guys up here. I'm going to feed this guy through the top, down there, just like so. You don't want to over tighten this because it is glass, so, um, you know, I tightened it just enough, got it snug, and I'm like, okay, I backed off, of, you know, I'm like, alright, I don't want to go any further than that, so. Alright, so I finished the turbo blanket install, so. Here is the turbo blanket. That's right, we got, we got some heat shield going on. So hopefully this will keep uh, the temps down in the engine compartment a little bit. I finished uh, the install on the rear wiper delete. So this is what it looks like, guys. It looks much cleaner <laughs> without any of that in the way now. Again, we don't use it, so get that thing off of there. So stay tuned, guys, because I am going to do a antenna delete here. That is in the mail. Should be here uh, this week. And then we got some other parts coming, too. That's right. We got some uh, special parts, so look forward to that in the next uh, video installment. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the quick install of the turbo blanket and the rear wiper delete. And uh, until next time, stay humble. Yeah.